Good morning, kitty. That's a big car accident. So I don't think I ever bring you here guys, uh, it's just a nice little mini park beside the ocean and it's just a blue sky, it's rainy though today but it's just a blue sky so I was like okay, I need to go there, it's not very far, do a little walk and I do have a little extra shopping to do after that. I think I think Lauren should be on his way after all of this. I didn't thought it would be that windy guys. I'm not even sure you can hear me, but it's so cold and windy. <laughs> We're gonna try to find a little place uh, outside the ship, outside all that wind, but whew, I can hear on my camera like making noise. <laughs> So much better on this side here. It's got no wind. It's so windy there. It's gorgeous. I love the cut of the water. It's just like turquoise water. It's windy. <laughs> it's windy, kitty. I don't think you will like it outside. It's way too windy. What are you doing with my tea bag this morning, kitty? Good morning everyone, I hope you're doing great. Uh, so, if you watched my last video, you saw that I was a little bit sick. As you can uh, tell, I'm feeling better. Not 100%, but quite there. Um, that was just, you know, the day before, I had like one day really, really sick, <laughs> really in pain. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in such a pain <laughs> or at least I don't remember um, with uh, a cold like it was just like deep inside the bone like in pain whatever uh, yesterday was quite fine right now I'm just feeling a little bit I talked a little bit yesterday so it might be that I don't know how today is gonna go but I just I just feel it like a little tiny little bit in my throat but uh, hopefully it's gonna resolve so, you guys see that by the way, my old stove, if you know, it was a month ago, we purchased another stove, this one here at Walmart, 
if we did that together like I think it was a month ago um, it fell on me yesterday nothing I can do it didn't even last me a month this thing which is another brand uh, this is a Coleman uh, last me for five plus year I just have a little issue once in a while that the safety pop out uh, so that's why I purchased another one because I was like eh, it may not last me you know like several more years I'm better to just buy another one but this Walmart one which I had a feeling that was like ah oh, should I went back to to the Coleman uh, what's, what's the brand on this one this is Olympia uh, I don't know if it's this wire here where the butane go to that it's broken or whatever uh, but yeah it's got no no butane that go to the actual uh, stove but I could tell that when I put the butane tank like things feel like tweaking you know things feel like it's super super light compared to the Coleman. Coleman is like way, I mean not way heavier but heavier, more you can you know more bite into it. I don't know what to say. Uh, so it is a flop. So I'm sorry for all of you who purchased one at Walmart after watching my video. Uh, like I said it's not because I purchased something that I you know that I say it's the best thing. I have to try it myself. Uh, but um, if you didn't buy one, uh, well, if you buy one, I hope it's gonna last you longer than me. But if you didn't buy one and you are thinking about buying a butane stove, maybe go back to the Coleman. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy maybe today, if I have time, uh, another Coleman stove. And hopefully, this one's gonna last me longer. But this one lasts me five, five years every day that I've been cooking on it. So, but this is a flop. <laughs> A good thing we didn't throw it away. Alright, put that away. So today we do have not an apartment but we go see Lawrence. Uh, we're gonna go at Chrome Shop and see Lawrence. He's gonna look at my agent to eventually um, fixing the head gasket leak. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he wants. You know what? We're just gonna wait for him to explain what he want to do because I'm not hundred percent sure. So instead of me just say some stuff that might not be true, uh, we're gonna go see Lawrence right now. to explore eh? <laughs> so Lauren's been just doing a couple scanning of my engine and everything to see yeah. what we're gonna need and uh, we're gonna make uh, an action plan we actually gonna look into again to see how bad is that oil leak that you actually had yeah and uh, regardless how how bad or good we're gonna How do it? How bad or good it is, you know, we're gonna order all the necessary parts because I know the reason why it's leaking on that side. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna order all the parts in, and as soon as we have the parts, we're gonna pull this beast in here mm -hmm. and we're gonna have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the leak, the leak didn't stop. No, no, Same. it didn't stop at all because look at that. It's even Same. leaking even more. <laughs> yes, it's leaking. And the, the main reason that it's leaking, you know, the high pressure oil that comes from the oil pump comes up and feeds the heads. Yeah. It's right here. Mm -hmm. It's right there. And that's where the gasket actually is leaking. That's why, because it's no pressure in the head. So it's not like 
you know, leaking because it's pressurized. It's mm -hmm. because where the feed line comes up, the gasket got somehow, you know, injured there. Yeah. And that's why it's pushing that oil because there is oil pressure there. So, so the plan will be to remove all of this. Yes. So we to gonna access that. Correct. So we have to pull the engine out, you know, take the front timing cover, water pump, take the timing chain off, yep. pull the head out, you know, clean nicely the surfaces, all that, and we have all that, and we start uh, reassembling, putting the new head gasket back in, and then in the same time, because everything has to come out, like, you know, the intake manifold and all that, we're going to put new gaskets there, and then because the injectors are really cheap yeah might as well just do injectors in the same time yeah. uh. because everything is gonna be out you know yeah everything yeah. that we, we see is gonna necessary do that job once <laughs> yeah you yeah. never want to yeah. be yeah. in there again you know yeah. so we're gonna make the parts list yeah okay it's time to go <laughs> where are you oh right there <laughs> It's time to go. Yeah. There you go. She hold on for life. <laughs> hold on, Kitty. Hold on. All right. Just came back from uh, the gym to have a shower. <clears throat> I was hoping <laughs> that you know maybe I could just do a small little exercise training. I'm not feeling good enough for that. I was doing so well before my cold, you know, going like very regularly. And now I'm just like, I, I, I want to go back to the gym, <laughs> which I think it's where I catch my cold, you know, with all the machine. I've been thinking about that. I was like, instead of doing what they told us to like clean after yourself, you know, all the machine, which probably like, who knows, maybe 50% of people don't do it or just, you know don't do it properly uh, maybe instead I could clean before <laughs> so if the person didn't do it before me I will not put my hands in their sweaty hands print and you know carry all this with me because I do have a strong feeling that's where I catch my cold uh, at the gym but um, so the gym is right beside the Canadian Tower so we're gonna go at the Canadian Tower get myself a new propane stove and um, hopefully they have the brand the Coleman brand because I'm not gonna buy other cheapy brand oh that's a grill one Oh. You don't want any? Alright everyone, so I just ordered the part that we need to fix every little thing. Uh, that's coming in just a couple of days, so no wait, <laughs> which is always great. So me and Lauren's gonna start that in, uh, in a couple of days, so maybe in the next video or the video after for you guys and um i should be out of driving for maybe a week or something close to that uh at com shop until you know everything is is ready and everything is done uh but after that after all that we pretty much gonna be almost ready for the summer road trip so pretty exciting so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you're not already i deeply 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 i appreciate all of you guys and i'm gonna leave you with miss kitty all right guys see you in the next one yeah finish the video with some cute little thing mm. can you give them a kiss oh they are so happy i know that